Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip. And in this video, I'm going to be updating a few changes that I've made in my EDC. In this video up here, I explain to you what I carry on my person all the time, every day. And a couple of those items were my two keychains that I carry, one in each pocket, and my EDC pen, and a money clip to carry my cash. One day I looked at it and I carried these three items on my key ring. A handcuff key, my night eyes doohickey, and a whistle. More on that in this video up here. I also carry this Schrade tactical pen that has a glass breaker and a handcuff key on it. But I was looking at this and it's like it would be nice to have a pen like this that had a stylus that would make it easier for me to use an electronic device like these. Especially on my phone, I have a hard time typing out correct words, correct spelling the words on this little teeny keypad, and a stylus would be nice. Now, I tried a stylus pen, but you know, why carry a pen and a stylus pen? Okay, so it'd be nice to have something like this in a stylus pen, and I managed to find something. Instead of this shrade, I now have a Smith & Wesson. Very, very similar in function and size, but the nice thing is it has a stylus tip on it, so I can actually use my phone as a, with a stylus tip. A couple things I didn't like about this is besides the fact that it didn't have a stylus, is the ink cartridge, I couldn't find a replacement. I had to basically manufacture my own replacement cartridges. They function, they work, I've gone through a couple of them, but I wanted something a little bit more reliable. So I went with this. So not only does it have a stylus, but on the inside it actually has a Schmidt P900 refill. And these are very, very common. So a couple of days after receiving this in the mail, I had purchased replacement ink cartridges as well as replacement tips for this because the tip on this stylus actually is replaceable. So I was able to source replacement tips. All you have to do is spin this one little ring off and I'm down to the stylus itself. So I had a little bit more functionality on an everyday basis. Yes, I had to give up the handcuff key that's on here, but since I carried a handcuff key on my key ring, I, it wasn't a big deal to lose that. So I was able to upgrade my EDC pen. Then I started to look at my key rings. I carried the doohickey and the handcuff key on one key ring and the whistle on another. And then one day I had an idea. Why don't I put all the tools on a separate key ring? Put the whistle, the night eyes doohickey, and just get down to one handcuff key and put that on a separate key ring. Great, I thought, but I could do better. These three items, along with my original PST Leatherman, makes a great combination, but I wanted to do more. The first thing I thought of is since I own several of these, I just decided to throw in a P51 can opener into the mix. One of the problems I've always had is opening one of these types of backpacking meals. I would start tearing it across, and by the time I got here, one side would be torn down to here and the other side would be torn up to here and I would either have to just rip the pace off or I'd have to get my knife out and cut it. I wanted a pair of scissors so I added a pair of scissors to my tool kit. Another problem I have is because I'm in the construction trades I was always getting slivers usually in my hand so I got a pair of tweezers. Not content with this I added a true utility pair of nail clippers. Another thing I thought of I should have is a seat belt cutter. This is a single finger seat belt cutter. It's about as small of a seat belt cutter as I could find. It does say Gerber on it, but I don't ever remember Gerber making a seat belt cutter. So my suspicion is this is a counterfeit, but it still does the job. If Gerber did make one and anybody knows, please feel free to put something in the comments down below. I'd like to know whether this is genuine or counterfeit, but even so, it still works just fine. 
Also, it being 2022, I wanted to add something modern, so I ordered this Samsung 256 gig Fit memory chip. About as small of a 256 gig card as you're ever going to find. But the crown jewel, I think, of this entire kit is making fire. I wanted a way to carry making fire as an everyday item in my carry kit. A lot of people will say, well, get a Zippo lighter. Problem with Zippo lighters is you put fluid in them and within two or three weeks, they've dried out. Get a Bic lighter, even one of the mini Bics. Yeah, fine, but they're still kind of bulky. What I wanted was something as compact as possible. And what I found was this, this is a split P lighter. It's about as small of a lighter as you're ever going to find. Now, I originally tried putting all this on a key ring. And I ended up with a great big wad of stuff just sticking out. And it didn't work out very well. I tried using the night eyes as a key ring, but very few items actually would fit on this. So I was using small key rings, small split rings to attach all these things to that. That didn't work out either. I got looking at this and I laid it out pretty much like you see it right here and I thought, you know, if I had something the same size as my wallet, I bet you I could fit all these things into something this size. And I found something and that is called a company called Gentle Stash and they make this little pocket EDC kit which has a couple pockets on the back, several pockets on the inside, and a pocket on the front made out of, I don't know, ballistic nylon, I guess you would call it. And it zips up and you can have everything organized in there. So let me show you how I put everything in there. I put the seat belt ripper in this big pocket, even though it's too big, it's about the only place it'll fit. The nail clippers go right here. Right next to it are the tweezers. And next to that is my whistle. The lighter and the memory card will go in this pocket down here and because I want to protect these contacts, I went to the hardware store and I found this little plastic cap. It looks like it's rectangular, but it's actually circular. It's just taken on the shape of the USB-A connection here because it's a nice tight fit. It slides right on there and it's taken on that shape from being a circle to that rectangular shape. That slides right down into there. The split P mini lighter, and if you want to see this in action, I'll just go ahead and light it up real quick. You can see that that works. That's about the bulkiest item in this kit, but I have a way that I can reliably carry the way to start a fire. The night eyes do hickey, and the handcuff key go here, the P51, and the Dritz 177 scissors go here. Now that I have my kit complete, what else can I put in there? Because I have a couple pockets here on the back, I've got a nice big pocket here, and I've got a pocket on the front, what else can I do with this? I took the keys that I carried in my left pocket and I broke them down into two smaller key ring sets so I could simply set one set of keys in this pocket and another set of keys in this pocket. So what do I do with this big pocket back here? What can I put back there? I put in a single use sunscreen towelette. I made up a little dispenser of various colors of thread and a single use Ben's wipe insect repellent. So the only pocket I have left is this one right here. What did I put in there? I got rid of my money clip. So this is where I carry my cash in my EDC kit. Now I'm not done adding things to this yet. There's a couple more things that I want to put in here. One is that little tool that came with my phone to take out 
the card, the micro USB and the, the service card, I can't think of what they call it, that makes the phone run on my particular service. This is the one that came with it. I thought, man, that is awful small and light. Why not add that to the kit just so I have it? I took it out of the back of my phone and put it in here because it's a little bit more convenient to get to in here. And because I carry thread, I'm going to need a needle. So what I decided to do is take a needle, run it into here, run it back out, and then run it back in. And now I have a needle for my thread. And as long as I have a needle and thread, why not add a couple of safety pins? And there's one more thing that I wanted added to this kit as long as I'm building it. And that is this little stainless steel needle threader that goes right through the eye of the needle to make it easier to thread the needle should I need to do a little sewing kit. And that'll just slide right in here as well. And that has become my new EDC tool kit, money clip, and spare keys. Now I'm not going to get into any details on these particular tools in this video. I just wanted to go over it to show you what I've changed. I will be doing a video in the future with a lot more details about what's in here. But I think between my new EDC Smith & Wesson pen, my original Leatherman PST multi-tool, and now my new Gentle Stash nylon or ballistic cordure or whatever you want to call it, my EDC pouch tool kit that also takes care of my keys and my cash, I think I'm a little bit more prepared to go after what life might throw at me in today's world. So this is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out on the trail.